Hello everyone, I'm John and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will compare the new the noise feature in Graxpert that is free with the RC Astro Noise Exterminator plugin in PixInsight. We have here in Graxpert an image with Messier 78 that does have a lot of noise. And I think this is a very good image to test out the new denoise feature in Graxpert. And let's test it first at uh, 75 denoise. We'll uh, select it here 75. We'll go and select the noise image. And here, here we have the image denoise at 75. I don't want to show you here also the advanced step. You have here the options also for background extraction. I've already done the background extraction and in this video I'm uh, focusing only on the denoise part. So denoising a model to zero. Rest I left on default and uh, you can leave this enabled or disable. If you don't have any errors, you can also enable the acceleration. Now let's check the results. Look how smooth it is at uh, 75. Now let's continue and uh, make the second test and denoise it with 85. Denoise image. And you can see how granulated it was before and how well it looks now. This is 85. We'll save it again. And let's go strength maximum and click on denoise. And look, it's a big difference. Now with maximum denoise, the image looks much more smooth. We save the images. Now we'll open PixInsight and compare with the Noise Terminator plugin. We have here the image with Messier 78 without any denoising applied. We'll use script image analyze this and use the SNR script to find out the signal to noise ratio. On the denoise image, the signal to noise ratio needs to be higher and is calculated in dB. We have the Messier 78 image without any denoising applied and we'll use the RC Astro Noise Exterminator with a denoise value of 60% strength. And we'll uh, drag it and apply it to the image. Already tested and 65% is very similar with the denoise value of 75% in uh, Grax part. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit and see before and after. And let's compare it with the noise 75 with uh, Graxpert. Visually here with the screen transfer function we don't have the most accurate result. So I will show you visually on the last image. For the moment we will compare the numbers in the signal to noise ratio script. We will go script and image analysis and select SNR. And you can see here on the right, it will show us the signal to noise ratio in dB, 67, 68, 63. Now let's compare the noise exterminator image at 60%. SNR, and you can see 67, 67, 77, and 62. So it's very close with the 75% value in Graxpart. Now let's check also the other images that we apply different uh, denoise strength like 85 and compare. SNR, we'll check the numbers. You see they are already higher. Let's compare 85 with a value of 75 strength of the noise exterminator plugin. 70, 71, a little bit higher but very close. So we can compare the 75 strength from Noise Exterminator with 85% strength from Graxport. Okay, now let's check also the 100% strength of the Denoise AI tool from Graxport. So we'll open it here and use the signal to noise ratio script. Okay. 74, 74, and 69. And let's compare with a value of 90% strength from 
the Noises Terminator plugin. Image Analysis SNR. So we are comparing 90% with 100. So you already see the signal to noise ratio is higher. 78, 78 and 75. And let's check also the image visually. Because of some errors here in PixInsight with the screen transfer function, I had to stretch the image separately to have the same stretched apply. And now we have here the Grax per denoise at 100%. And uh, let's zoom in here. Let's zoom. And we can see we have a very good result here. Start denoising it with the AI denoise tool. Very, very smooth. Not much granulation. And let's see the results with the noise exterminator at 90%. This is also stretched. And let's zoom in. Do not see a huge difference. However, looking on the image where we use the noise exterminator at a value of 90%, the result is a little bit better. Less granulation compared with the Graxpert AI denoise tool. And let's zoom even more. Almost no noise visible here at this level of stretch. And Let's compare again with uh, the Grax part at this zoom level. We zoom a little bit more. And here we can still see some existing noise visible. Now let's zoom out. The difference is barely noticeable. Only once we zoom in more, we can see a, a noticeable difference between the two. And we can see the noise exterminator did a better job. Just after testing the new denoise feature in Graxpert, the AI 2.0 model, I've noticed that the 3.0 is available. So we'll test now also the new version to see if there is any improvement compared with the old one. Now we have the last version here, the 3.0 model, that it seems to work slower. And let's compare with reduction with noise exterminator 90%. Okay, so still we have more noise in the new version. And let's compare with the old one. Actually, it, it has more noise than the older one. This has the noise 100 Grax part, version 2.0. And this is 3.0. Let's compare also signal to noise ratio. We have here the First image that we used denoising with AI2 model. Let's see the SNR again. Channel 1, we have 31, channel 2, 31, then 26. And now let's compare with the new update, the 3.0, and use the same script. We have here 30, 30, and 26. Actually, the signal to noise ratio, it is a little bit smaller compared with the version 2.0. So always best to check and see which one is the best. We could have new updates, but not necessarily everything is better. So we might need to wait until the next update to get uh, more improvements compared with the older version that I've just tested, the 2.0 AI model. And now let's go to the noise exterminator image and use the SNR script. SNR 35, 35, and 32. According to the signal to noise ratio, on the stretch image, we have about 20% improvement in signal to noise ratio. And again, we have a clear winner, the noise exterminator. That will give us the best image after denoising. After seeing all these results, the new AI denoise feature from Graxpert is getting very close with the Noise Exterminator plugin. If I do want to select a winner between the two, after uh, checking all the results with the signal to noise ratio and looking also visually, I have to say that the Noise Exterminator has the upper hand and it is the winner. But as I mentioned before, Graxpert got really close and it's also free. You will be able to use it without having to buy Pixinsight or other plugins. 
and this tool can give you a big improvement on your astrophotography processing if you do not use the noise exterminator and pix inside well these were my results and comparison between the new ai denoise feature in graxpert and the noise exterminator plugin hope you find the video useful and if you did don't forget to like it subscribe if you are new and if you do want to support the channel more please check also the channel membership if you'll become a member you'll be able also to download mass of photography data i hope i see you in the next videos and until next time clear sky